everyone, welcome to Figure Fantasy. As you've seen in the thumbnail, the discussion today is purely, is Rimuru that good? Okay, if you have the answer to that question already, um, put them down in the comment section below. Is it that good? Is it that bad? Please put them down. Share your thoughts and opinions about Rimuru because a lot of players are also asking in terms of um, should I summon for him right now? Should I invest in him? Should I spend? Um, again, as for me, again, this is, just, this is just a disclaimer. These are just my opinions. Yes, he is good, but there are definitely some considerations. Number two is his full value comes with Milim. Okay, once you get Milim, then really his value skyrockets because what level you end up with Rimuru, that is the equivalent uh, level of Milim because most also say that Milim is better than Rimuru in terms of this game. So again, his value is tied with Milim, but it doesn't mean that he doesn't have value as a standalone. Okay, for now, I see him um in let's red if you put a let's red summon team he could be an off tank to to megan he is he he's, he's fun to play with he's good he's very good in pvp um he just needs to be supported with the right you know with the right with the right uh figures supporting him especially for survivability okay so that is my reply is he good yes Full value with Milim, and definitely I can see him in a lot of content. I've actually discussed them, uh, this in my building strategy guide, but again, I'll re be repeating this because some are really afraid to pull for Rimuru because for them, they might be wasting um, diamonds for Rimuru uh, because he might not be good because they, they want to opt for the next banner. But again, at this point, he is good. So again, he there, there are just a lot of things that you have to support him with. Okay? So what can I get? Uh, sorry, what if I can I can't get Milim? So there's that's another question. If you can't get Milim, he still has value. Okay? So especially if you are free to play, don't be afraid to use him alone. If you can, you know, if if there's a, not another poisoner, there is a Chow Chow there eventually. So, again, he still has value standalone with Milim, without Milim. Again, he's going to be good. Okay, future value. At this point, I don't want to say he has future value um, in terms of our server. I just want to say our server because, again, if I base it on the other servers, it would be unfair because, again... I'm not saying that his that his value would drop eventually, but what I'm saying is the meta might change in the future. That's that's the difference. We might you know we might be using Rimuru for a long time. Some might be saying that he might be losing traction in the future, and you might have to replace him. Uh, future value is still positive for me because right now he's still good. He's very good. Um, <laughs> The, the AOE damage that he deals is ridiculous. The the variances of each server contributes, especially in the releases, the sequence of the releases, contributes to the value of the figure. If you if that figure has been released early without the other figures, probably that value will will you know be sustained throughout you know throughout future figures. So that is my point. So again, you cannot really compare his value. Worth pulling again? Yes. I just want to repeat this. Worth pulling. Uh, meta is good, but again, play the game and have fun. It doesn't hurt to to use him in content. He will help you clear content, I'm sure. Especially for those who are new to the game. We, do, we didn't have a powerful Vanguard before. Um, before Rimuru, I was just using Rin. Before that, I'm not sure who. Right now, he has terrific value. So I think on that alone, you should you should be you know be confident to pull for him. Okay, so the last question is can you build him after the collab? Okay. I just want to show you guys the store. 
So this is just an example. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say that this is going to be it. So as you can see here, um, even after the collab, Hatsune Miku is still here. We can still purchase her and it's infinite. Okay, so for him, for this one unavailable in 26 days, this also happened to Hatsune Miku. So she was, she was here for a limited time. But again, now she's here permanently and we can, you know, um, level her up. So my guess is, this is just a guess. Um, <laughs> I don't want to say this, but there is a big probability that Rimuru will be permanent in the store or most store. High probability, okay? I'm not saying it's going to be 100%. It's probably 95% confident so i'm allowed a five percent variance anyway so that is it so don't don't worry so much about about rimuru i know you guys are pressured enough to get him now or not to get him now enjoy our game enjoy this game and enjoy rimuru if you have him fun to play with um again if you have if you're grinding him as a free-to-play player i don't think You'll go wrong with him. Uh, at this point, um, for vanguards, we only have a few options. Uh, Rin would be single target. Rimuru would be AOE multiple mob type of clearing for vanguard, which it, which you know, which is I think for me value because he provides versatility in my line. Is really that good? Yes, yes, a solid yes. This is just my opinion. Disclaimer, please and. If you have comments, suggestions, or probably if you have bad or good comment, please put them down in the comment section because I would appreciate your feedback and players who are asking would also appreciate your feedback. Okay? So I hope I hope this answers, you know, this answers your questions and hopefully you could you could, you know, decide from your own if you wanna pull for Rimuru today up to the banner ends but again there are options moving forward 95 percent okay thank you guys for staying this far so hopefully again i have answered your questions for those who have stuck this far please do consider subscribing because this helps my channel a lot thank you guys stay safe take care this is the warden and i'm out of here